In this video, I want to demonstrate how to add ordinate dimensions to a part. To add ordinate dimensions from the annotation ribbon, I'm going to select the drop down arrow below Smart Dimension. And first, I'll add horizontal ordinate dimensions. To do that, I want to select my zero edge first. So I'll select the edge and then I'm going to move up and click to place the dimension. Next, I need to select each point along the part I would like an ordinate dimension. And when I'm done, I can click the check mark to accept it. If I've missed a particular dimension, in this case the location of the hole, I can right click on any of the ordinate dimensions and select add to ordinate and come back and add the missing location. And again, I can say OK to tell it I'm done. If I want the separation of these to be a bit more, I can just grab them and pull it out. I can also change any individual ordinates dimension precision, so I can select the 5.8 and change it to a two decimal place or a one decimal place or any precision I so desire. Next, I'll add some vertical ordinate dimensions. To add vertical ordinate dimensions, again, I'll come up to Smart Dimension, choose the drop down arrow below, and then I'll select Vertical Ordinate Dimensions. I'll need to select a zero location, so I'll select the bottom of my part and I'll move over and I'll click to place it. And once again, I'll select each entity I wish to have an ordinate dimension for. And then I can right click when I'm done, tell it to select, and that will end the dimension.